Hello there. Today I will give you a walkthrough of speaker stage controls in Airmail. Let's get started. Once you are on the backstage, you will see all the speakers and hosts that are on the backstage and you can connect with them. Since you are on the backstage, you will see backstage at the top. You will see the session status if the session has started, ended or on a post date. You will see the session name and when the session starts. Now, if you want to chat privately with the speakers or hosts on the stage, you can simply click on the speaker chat and there you can privately chat with even hosts and other speakers on the stage without including the attendees. Now, coming on to the bottom middle controls, you can turn on your video and audio and connect with others. You can also click on the share screen icon and either share your PDF file or share your screen. If you have any camera or mic issues or if you want to set up your virtual background, then you can click on this two line icon. And from here, you can simply click on here and select the camera that you want to use. Now you can also set up the virtual backgrounds by simply clicking on the desired images here. If you want to remove the background, you can simply click on here. If you want to re-add it, then you can do so as well. Or if you want to add a blur, you can add a blur as well. Or if you have your own virtual background image, you can upload the image by clicking on here. Coming on to the microphone, you can also select different microphone by clicking on here and selecting the one you desired. You can also test your microphone by clicking on this button or if you want to check your speaker as well, you can do so from here or test it as well. Once done, you can go ahead and save it. Now, depending on the strength or the bandwidth of your internet, you can also change the session video resolution by clicking on HD and selecting the type of definition that you want. If you want to go full screen, you can also click on this icon to go full screen. Now coming on to the RHS or right hand side controls. The first one is chats. Here anyone can chat with anyone inside this session. If you like certain views on the chat, you can also give them a thumbs up. If you want to reply to that chat, then you can simply click on this arrow icon and reply on the chat. You can also click on this three dot icon and directly message that person or report this chat in case of abuses. Now coming on to the Q&A sections, all the questions posted during the session will be shown up here. You can also avoid the question if you have the same type of question by clicking on this arrow icon. If you want to add something to this question or answer this question, then you can simply click on comment to put up your comment. Now you can also click on this three dot icon and send a direct message to the person who has posted a question. Or in case of abuses, you can also report the question. Now coming on to the people section, here you will see all the people who are inside this session. In case of many attendees, if you want to search a particular attendee, you can search them by their name. You can also change the attendee views by clicking on this icon and changing the view. Now in this section, you can also directly message the person or schedule a meeting with that person if you want to. Now coming on to this poll section, you can vote for a certain poll by selecting the option and clicking on board button. Now, as a speaker, you will also be able to create your own poll. You can click on create a poll. You can put up your poll question and enter the answers. You can add up to six answers by clicking on add answers. Now, you can also allow multiple answers to this poll by clicking on this box or unselect this box to have single select answers. You can also choose to show the results or not show the results to the attendee. You have three options that is to show the poll results instantly or to show poll results only after the poll has ended or don't show poll at all. Once done, you can go ahead and save this poll as a draft or go ahead and publish it. The speakers, they can also show the polls they have posted on the stage by clicking on show on stage. And from there, once the polling is done, you can click on hide poll from stage or Hide from stage to hide this poll from the stage or you can close the poll by clicking on this close poll or close poll out here or you can delay the poll by clicking on this pin icon. The speakers can only show the polls that they have created on the stage and not those polls that are created by the organizers. Now if you want to hide these RHS controls then you can simply click on this collapse icon and it will be collapsed on the bottom right. Or if you want to show them again, you can simply click on this collapse button and it will be shown again. Those are the backstage controls. Now coming on to the live stage controls. Whenever the session host starts the session, you will get a 10 seconds timer to get ready for the live stage. And once the session is live, you will see that the session is live and the timer for the session. You will see that the session is recorded. You will have all the controls that you had on the backstage in addition to the reactions button 
you can simply click on them to show love on the stage you can also access these reactions by clicking on the keyboard buttons that is one two three four and five even on the rhs sections you will have the same controls as in the backstage now as a speaker once you're done speaking and if you want to leave the stage and explore the other areas of the event then you can simply click on this back arrow button and leave the session well that's all the stage controls for the speakers in airmate hope you found this video helpful thank you for watching